you are wonderful people. There are so many people here this evening. It is uh, quite incredible. Um, and I recognize a lot of uh, familiar faces amongst you, so uh, I apologize if I don't get uh, a chance to say hello to you uh, directly and thank you for coming. Uh, and I know a lot of you also helped me with this book, so uh, a huge thank you uh, to all of you. Uh, you have to take this as a collective uh, <laughs> thanks for uh, this. And, um, you know, it's, it's wonderful to be here in this building, uh, the CHQ building. Uh, and thank you, Merv and Meta, who are hosting us uh, this evening. But as you can see outside, it was quite a building. Uh, and it is close to 200 years old. Uh, it was built, uh, it started in 1817. And it was a warehouse for storing tobacco and wine and spirits uh, while they were awaiting assessment uh, by customs officers from the customs house just up the road. And in 1856, which is 160 years ago, um, a, a very strange event happened here when uh, during, at the end of the Crimean War, over 4,000 bushy bearded veterans of the Crimean War came marching down the quays, marching down the Liffey, and came in here for a huge banquet of tucking into venison pasties and plum puddings and whatnot. So we are in the presence of happy spirits here. Um, a few uh, specific thank yous. First of all, to my uh, beautiful wife, Ali, uh, and my daughters, uh, Jemima and Bay. Merci beaucoup. Uh, uh, and uh, a huge thanks to all at Gill Books. So many people get involved in making a book uh, like this, uh, bringing it from the birth all the way through to production and then organizing an evening like this as well. So uh, a huge thanks uh, to you all. And Connor, I don't know where you are specifically, but uh, hello, Connor at the back. Um, <laughs> about two years ago, Connor um, called me up. I was in County Monaghan. And as he said, I'd just been working on that book about uh, World War I, The Glorious Madness. And I just was in the throes of finishing a book about the Easter Rising. And Connor said, hi, I just wanted to talk to you about the idea of doing a, a new book. And I said, Connor, I just don't think I can do another book uh, right now. And he said, okay, no, that's fine. It's just I was going through your website and I noticed that quite a lot of your books are set in 1847. <laughs> <laughs> I said, keep talking. Uh, and that is one of the reasons why you are all here this evening. Um, uh, another uh, reason, Luca, where have you gone? Um, Luca, Luca, Luca. There. Uh, Luke, another reason why uh, this book happened is because of that song you sang. Um, and it is an extraordinary uh, sense of completeness there to have you sing it here. And it is an enormous uh, honor for me to hear you sing it so beautifully. Um, thank you. Uh, and, um, We're here. We're here. The song was a sort of like um, the sun or the shade or, or, or something that allowed a seed to germinate and that seed is uh, what became 1847. Uh, 1847 is the year it all began. Um, I, um, you know, the year has kind of chosen me in a way um, and I plan to talk to you for about five or six minutes as to reasons why, so I hope that is not too long for you. 